On average, 380,000 guns are stolen in the U.S. every year. Uh, that's an average of one gun every 90 seconds is stolen in the United States, mostly from cars. And we've done several videos on that, and that's not what this is about. This specific video is designed to connect all those stolen guns to crime. And this is very important that we do this, and we'll talk about that in a second. But the FBI has just put out a report that over 72% of gun crime in this country is committed with stolen guns. All right, so let's follow this for a second. That makes sense to me. Now, if you have a gun and you leave it in your car and it's stolen, uh, that was foolish of you. Let's start there. But of course, I mean, let's start with the will a criminal took it. I mean, that's a crime <laughs> to break into somebody's car. Now, then of course that gun is gonna be used in more crime. Now, the critical piece of this is because if you look at all of the gun laws and all of the gun bans and all of the bans on gun equipment and that sort of thing, Ultimately, what we're seeing is that has no effect on where the actual guns are coming from that are committing the violent crime. So if you ban me from being able to purchase a gun that holds more than 10 rounds, for example, that has exactly zero effect on the amount of guns going out into crimes and the guns being used for crimes. Now, I know I'm not preaching to the choir on this, but what this is, is this demonstrates that these gun laws, they, they're not gonna work. They're not gonna change any of the violent crime. The only way you're gonna change violent crime is have some sort of campaign to convince people to quit leaving their guns in their stupid cars. If you can get people to quit leaving their guns in cars, that would reduce a lot more gun violence than banning me from buying certain guns because the people that are using those guns in violent crimes, they're not going into the stores to buy them at all. They're stealing them out of your and mine cars. That's where they're getting them from or they're buying them from somebody who just stole guns out of cars. A, a vast majority of gun crime in this country has nothing to do with gun laws at all. A vast majority of the gun crimes in this country are committed with guns that are stolen from people's vehicles. So, you know, I want to take this moment to just kind of connect those two pieces together because, you know, and again, I know I'm preaching the choir, but there's got to be some people out there who say, well, wait a second, maybe, maybe if we don't ban guns from law-abiding citizens, that won't actually have an effect on the crimes being used by violent criminals uh, because those are stolen guns anyway. So anyhow, uh, again, I know I'm preaching the choir, but I think it's important to bring these numbers up um, because it's rarely talked about. Where are all the guns coming from that, that are used in violent crimes? Where they're being stolen from your automobiles, that's where they're coming from. Uh, any thoughts or insight, definitely put that below. I would like to take a moment and say that most people watch this channel, they're not subscribers of the channel. Please take a moment, hit that subscribe button. It greatly increases the algorithm and our ability to get these messages out. That link is below. The most important part of this channel, we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, love guns.